Why, hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Here we are back in our house, as we can see, starting up real nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get right back into it. Uh, I think today I want to go mining a little bit. I also want to clear up that area over on the other side because I think that is uh, much deserved. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of iron and things, but I would like to run into some diamond because if we have diamond then we can make a then we can get obsidian we can get obsidian we can create another portal we create another portal we get the things we need in order to raid that ocean monument that we ran into last episode um, as you can see or if you did not see it i do have a sign set up i'm just making myself another pickaxe i do have a sign set up pointing us in the direction of the ocean monument so that we do not forget that it is that way and we're not guessing all the time uh, there we go. So now, yeah, I know I have a few extra pickaxes. It's fine. It's it's what we need. Um, we're just gonna go on over and we're gonna we're gonna check out our farm, which is right down over there. Uh, let's also check out our cows and see if they need to do any breeding. Let's go ahead and try to find ourselves some wheat here, uh, so that we can get them going on there on their uh, reproducing because we need more cows in order to get more beef. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I want to check the house for um, some more wood. I know I just looked, but I feel like, yeah, we have tons of wood, and I don't know why I would run away without any. Uh, we'll just take oak because oak is, is quite all right by me. Let's go ahead and make that, and we're going to make a boat out of this because it's just so annoying to swim still. Okay. So here we are making our boat. Boat, boat, boat. We still got a ton of chickens down at the bottom of our bridge, too. Don't like you. Let's go breed them cows, huh? So, um, breeding animals is, is obviously very good for resources, but you need to find the right balance for your computer. Um, and I know that sounds weird to say, but, um,. It, it, the more the more cows or the more the more animals you have in one area the harder your computer is going to need to work in order to remember that they're there and make sure and keep track of their random movements and things like that so you need to be careful on, on how many how many animals you have in one set area just keep it in mind like if you if you think oh well my game gets really slow when I get back to my house or whatever um, yeah just keep that in mind because sometimes that'll get you um, as well as other entities like I believe there's an armor stand now that will do that if you have too many in one area and uh, item frames in, in fact will will do it as well so just keep all that in mind I mean it's, it's usually something you don't run into unless you're obviously using a world for a long period of time let's go ahead and get all these melons because melons are good eating ah uh, we don't have much Wheat going. We should probably start another wheat farm. In fact, let's do that before we go out and try to find a mine, because I think um I think we'll benefit a lot more from that than really anything else. I hope we have enough seed. I, I must have more seed somewhere. I, I'll, let's go check back at the house, and then if we don't have seed back at the house, um, we'll obviously have to go break some grass, or I'll I'll do it uh, either off screen or in fast motion. Uh, just so we have, just so we can create a nice farm, because uh, the idea was to build a farm right over here uh, in this flattened area. Um, but I mean, we need a sustainable, and obviously that many is not going to keep us sustained. Um, it's not going to give us as much bread as we're going to need. Yes. Where'd that boat go? Don't go too far. <gasps> oh, we got to jump off the bridge in order to get that boat if that keeps going. That'll be fun, huh? Okay, so let's go ahead and check. Wait, I have an organics chest. This is it. Oh, one seed. Sweet. Awesome. So we're just going to go ahead and, yeah, we're, we're not going to do that for now then. But we'll start collecting seeds in the chest over there. And eventually, hopefully, we will be able to, um, to have our farm. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make bread out of the rest of this wheat because uh, where is that egg lane? It's probably like right below us. You hear it pop out, it's like, it's just like that. Okay, so now I got some more bread. We're not going to be able to go too deep down in the mine. I'm sorry, I know I, I jump I jump from chests a lot. I, is that too loud? If that is too loud, let me know. I mean, I'm trying to keep an eye on it, but sometimes, you know, I miss stuff. In fact, I think I'm just going to turn it down just to be safe. 
Um, just a little bit there. There we go. Now it's not as bad, I hope. So we're going to go out and we're going to find uh, a miner. Not try to, not find one, but we're going to go, uh, I guess, yeah. We're not, we're not going to like search really hard for one, but if we, if we run into something uh, semi underground, then we will go into it because like I said, we want to get real deep into like uh, the diamond areas because diamond is awesome. And who would we be without wanting diamonds, right? Yeah, so I'll let you guys know when um, when and if I do find something. See you in a bit. Okay, so it looks like I've been around the whole island here. And I, I really didn't find anything. I found myself back at the house. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the house, I guess, and uh, I think we're gonna create a mine because I couldn't. I couldn't find one suitable and close enough to the to the house. I'd much rather have it be within like a short distance so that I don't have to keep going back. I don't. I'm not gonna show you guys every time I I mine because I know that 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 that'll get very boring. But I figured I might as well at least show it the first few times. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and create a mine now. When I do it, uh, we're gonna do it obviously outside of the house. It's actually becoming dark, so why don't we grab some Z's first? But we're gonna do it outside of the house. We're gonna do it under in the cave system, right under the house, and that'll um, and we'll we'll do it in a way that that it'll be quick, like to get down into the mine, or at least hope that's the hope. Um, we're gonna grab the ladders because that's what we're gonna use to get down very quickly. Um, also grab this wood and these sticks. Let's go and make some more ladders because that's the plan. Boom, and we'll do it again. Oop, one too many there. It's fine. And there we go. That'll be fine. 36 levels down. Should be okay for now. Uh, I think, what are we at? We are at level 72. So 72 minus 36 is 36. So it, it won't be the best, but it'll be pretty far down here. And I, I just, I, I want to be careful because I don't want to keep falling into this mine. So we're going to kind of cut out a little area here for us. And this will be like our designated corner for our mine. And like obviously once we hit a branching system, we are going to, um, we'll, we'll start following that instead of just going straight down. But this is a trick that I do. Uh, if, if you stand right between these two, then you can't fall. Uh, you're never supposed to dig straight down, but the idea is that with two blocks, hopefully you'll be able to catch yourself before you fall into a cave or anything like that. Um, and I have torches, thank God, um, because I was worried. Wait, I thought I just... Ah! I always confuse myself on that. Okay, we're good. Let's keep going down. Like I said, we're going to try to find a, a pretty deep mine here. And hopefully we have enough ladders to get back up. We'll have to keep checking our F3 so that we don't go too far down. Like I said, we need to, we can go down to level 32 before we need to worry about it. Um, let's keep lighting our way up. It's not super important that we have a, a, a light in this shaft because if you think about it, like it's going to be very hard for zombies to spawn on a ladder. Uh, in fact, they can't. So it, it shouldn't be too much of a worry for us. Wow, we are getting pretty deep down here. Some more light up in here. Let's check our F3. Are we too low? Oh, no, we're at the perfect height. So now we can go back up with our ladders, hopefully. Okay, and see, if you hold right click, that'll happen where the ladders get placed behind you. So what you need to do is you just gotta like click it every time. Otherwise, um, you're gonna have ladders spread out everywhere in the thing, and you, that's just annoying. See, I think I double placed there, yeah. And now when you're going up and down a ladder, you see I can't stay still. So you can tap it to stay, stay, stay like this and stay in one area. Or you can just go up and press shift. If you press shift on a ladder, you, you don't go down anymore. Uh, and then you can mine. You obviously mine a lot slower when on a ladder. Um, just a rule so that, you know, it's more realistic. And there we go. So now we're at the top of the mine. Now what I want to do is I want to grab a bucket if we already have one created. Oh, hello. What are you doing inside of our home? Oh, thank you. Stay out. Ow, ow, ow. How was that? That was odd. Where was it too dark? Is it too dark here? Hmm. I'll just light this place up one more time. It's kind of because it's open as well. 
Um, our house, like, it doesn't have like a door, really, like a front door or a back door or anything. So I can understand that, but let's let, we're gonna go ahead and light up this area, obviously, and make sure that that doesn't happen again to us. Now let's go ahead and look for that bucket. Oh, we got one. Awesome. And then what we can do is you can. Uh, actually, let's grab let's let's grab everything we need before I jump on back down there, because we don't want to have to climb back up. I don't want to just show something off and then have to come right back here. So we're just gonna get. I could have done a stack. You don't want to shift and do that, or else you take all of them. Like it will make more than one stack. So we'll just go ahead. and There we go. Twenty-seven more should get us down pretty far. Oh wait. Oh, no baby chicken. I wanted him to flutter down. Okay, ready? So the idea is, is that with this, you can like you can go away from that block, and then you can catch yourself on the ladder, which is really risky. So that's why we have the bucket of water, is so that we can semi-do that. Um, but instead, we'll put a water at the bottom in case we don't catch ourselves on this block. Uh, we will just land in the water at the bottom. Oh, awesome. Here is some gold for us. I was being quiet so that uh, you guys wouldn't have to watch that. But we got some gold here. Sometimes this will find us into like a, a cave system. Wow, this is a lot of gold. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, ladders are there. And uh, I, I always like to, um, like when we find stuff like that, just fill this back up so we're not getting zombies in there or anything. Um, especially if it's on our way down to something. Because we don't want to have to hear it every time we go up or down the ladder. Can you hear that? Oh, where are we at? We're level 21 and we can hear lava. Oh, and that's a bat. That means there's an open cave around here somewhere. So this is where we're going to stop. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't find anything. But first, let's get this ladder up. Oop. See? Sometimes you get ahead of yourself. So you just, just got to retrace your steps a little bit. It's not a big deal. Awesome. See, when you do that, you take a lot of damage. So now I got to eat up. And now let's go on a search for this spooky cave. I'm being quiet so I can listen for the, for the lava. Nothing. Remember, we're gonna keep lighting this up, or else we, because because we don't want to get caught out by a zombie or anything. I can still hear. It might be below us. It is below us. Called that one. Okay. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna make sure that this is lit up. Actually, we'll just fill this one in because this didn't lead us anywhere. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to risk it by jumping in, even though we could get wrecked by by something down there. So let's go ahead and go go quick. Ready? We got to believe. We got to believe. Three, two, one. Go. Okay, it looks like we're, we're the coast is clear for now. A lot of water here. That's cool. Uh, water noise scared me. <laughs> Awesome, so we got some, uh, we actually got quite a bit of a lot of things. So let's go ahead and uh, fill up these water blocks. Now there's a few ways that you can get rid of water blocks. You can also do that with a torch. I'll get rid of the source block, and there's just one more source block we need to take care of, but it sounds like there's a skeleton around this corner. Or somewhere around here. So he sounds like he's in there. I can totally hear a skeleton. And a lot of lava. So we're going to play the safe game and not go any further. But we will light this up so that we don't get caught out. Let's 
go back down here. Now, the, the, another reason why I like to take water down with me is because then wherever you go, you can just boom water um, and like jump down in the areas or climb out of areas. I know I've said that before, but it's really it's really important practice. Um, let's go ahead and clean this up just so even if we fall into this area on accident, uh, we don't we don't get absolutely wrecked by a zombie or something. Um, we'll light this up. Oh, and awesome. There is some lapis lazuli. Now, lapis lazuli uh, used to only be a dye coloring. So, you would just use it to color uh, wools and armor and things like that. But now, in 1.8, lapis lazuli is also uh, lapis lazuli. Uh, I think it's lapis lazuli, though. Ooh. Okay. So, now, this is another thing. Uh, obviously, because there was lava here to make the subsidian, there's going to be lava under this stuff. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to find... Make sure there's no bad guys first. And then you're going to want to try to find like an edge or something. Like that. And then just fill up. And then you try to get really close to this and catch as much as you can. Because that's just about all you can do. It does not look like I got much lapis at all. That's things. Uh, I got two pieces of lapis. Awesome. It is lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. I don't know. I'll have to look up the phonetic term. Okay, there's a, there's a skeleton over there. Ready? He's going around the corner. Ah, ah, I got you, got you, got you. Got him. Oh, that was close. I thought that was light from a torch of mine and not from lava. So let's go ahead and, first of all, hide from the zombie. We'll eat up so that our health keeps starts going back up. And we'll set down some water here. Come on, get there. Sometimes water's a little bit glitchy. Sometimes that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Do I have armor? It doesn't seem like... No, I don't have armor. That's why. I was like, I'm taking a lot of damage really quickly here. So we, we should probably get ourselves some armor as well. We will need some, especially if we're going to go after that... Hello? If we're going to go after that um. ocean monument, we will definitely need to. Let's go ahead and light this place up. Like I said, it's always good to have more torches than... Then not enough. And we also want to always create a safe path back. In fact, I did not create a path back into the shaft, the mine shaft that we made. So I'll do that now. I don't remember where it was. I thought it was like right here. No, we dropped in like here. Yeah. Okay, so I'll clean this up and then we'll just go ahead and so we can continue the ladder here. I will also build a little trench here, like so. We'll dig out the middle, like that, and then we'll put some water there. There we go. And we'll go ahead and block off this area, too, just so we're not confused on where we're going. There we go. And then when you fall, you can just be like, poof, right into the water like that. It's also... There's some stuff in here, so I just want to make, like, a, a safe step up. But we gonna need to remember that you can get stuff in this area here. Awesome. See, like the, like the iron right here. Now, a lot of people think that, like, the diamond will spawn on specific levels. Um, there are patterns, but there's nothing guaranteed, really. Uh, I hear a lot of level 12 talk. So that's probably where we want to be. But like I said, it's no, it's no guarantees. Okay, we need to go... F where the, what happened to my water? Oh, yeah, we, we use the source block. Okay. We'll just take this real quick. We'll cover up this lava. Because I don't think we're going to need to use it for anything. Lava can also be used to power um, furnaces. So if you ever need power for furnaces, you're like, Oh, no, I can't find any coal anywhere. Um, lava will be your answer if you can find lava but no coal. Or wood. But, but lava lasts a long time. Okay, there we go, and let's go ahead and climb back up, and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm at the top. Okay, that climb took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but it's all right. Let's go ahead and climb up into a bed, because it is nighttime. We don't want to get caught out again by that skeleton that got us last time. Okay, and we're just going to empty out our bags now. Um... Let's go ahead and throw our, our valuables straight into the furnace. Or anything that is cookable straight into the furnace. Two pieces of lapis. That still is absolutely ridiculous, like in a bad way. Uh, can't believe we did not catch more, th more of that, but I, I think we'll be all right. Like I said, I'm just going to do some condensing. Because um, it's nice It's nice to have a... It's nice to, it's nice to be able to find everything. There we 
go. Nice. Oh, we got a bow. Awesome. That is very cool. Now we have now we'll have a bow uh, to shoot arrows if we want. Um, I'll, I'll obviously give a little bit more information about the bow um, in another episode. I think I think we'll have one where we cover uh, like the drop of it, of it and everything. I'll, I'll do a lot of research on that for you guys. So once and for all, you know the exact statistics. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go into our wood chest. We'll drop off the ladders because we're not using those anymore. The sticks are fine. Get rid of the sapling. Okay, it looks like we're pretty good. Oh, signs. We don't need these signs either. Um, yeah, and let's go ahead and fill up this water bucket uh, as I finish up the episode, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, uh, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you guys didn't notice, I've been trying to be a little bit more energetic. I'm, I'm going to try to keep, obviously, upping the energy in my episodes because if I'm not having a good time, then uh, you guys are not going to have a good time watching. And I'm, I'm very well aware of that. Um, if there's anything else you guys would like to see, please don't be afraid to comment uh, in the section below about like you know I I improvements about the YouTube channel because this channel is only here because you guys are here I would not be doing this if it weren't for you guys so um, anything I can do to improve please please don't be afraid to let me know um, yeah and have, have a nice day everybody I'll see you later